from a yeah. very good, I'd say, really nonpartisan study, even though well, it the people of Georgia supported 10 more years of American involvement, military involvement in Iraq. Well, and the people know we're still in Germany and in South yeah, Korea. No, 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 no. I won't let you get away with that. That is not a fair comparison. We are not having, we do not have a war in South Korea. There's no German that's fired on an American since 1945. That's not a fair comparison. So well, it still is going to take time. It's not a fair time. comparison. It, it still takes time. Chris, I think that... No, no, no. The, it's not, I don't know why... You, let me say... I, I keep Chris, saying that. That is not an acceptable argument. You cannot compare our peaceful occupation of Germany since 45, our peaceful occupation of South Korea with the situation in Iraq. It's much more, Congressman, as if the war, in, the Korean War had continued all these years. Well, Chris, let me say one thing that I have uh, co-sponsored the bipartisan Iraq study group, the set, um, implementation which uh, Frank Wolf is, is reintroducing this week. And I think one of the things that it underscores is that if we leave right now, as much as you and I and Debbie might want us to leave right now, that you will have a civil war that will right, spill over the border. I, I, I mean, the consequence of leaving the are pretty dire. The Cold war, pretty which I find lazy. These 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 cat these comparisons to previous eras and previous countries do not do us any good. We're in the middle of Arabia, surrounded by a billion Islamic people who don't want us there. We have to deal with that fact of Americans getting killed every day. We got three guys in captivity right now. It is not fair. The compared to Chris, Chris, peaceful occupation of South Korea and Germany. Rhetoric, Chris, but and all what's the more conservatives do it over and over again. It's lazy thinking, Congressman. It's the kind of, Chris, of if you propaganda out, that has not helped this country but, understand Chris, that situation. But the Iraqi study group itself, a bipartisan group, which both sides cite quite often, says if you pull out suddenly, I you're going to have a civil war that spills over. Don't, compare it, don't compare it to totally different situations in South Korea during the Cold War or Germany okay. today. All right, Chris, I understand I still. I stepped on a nerve there. No, I accept you, that. You but what I'm saying into, is if you, you leave... Into, you it, stepped into a dishonest uh, comparison, well, Congressman. Okay, That's Chris, the problem. Okay, let's, let, me, let me accept that and move on. The okay. point is, if you leave, and saying that you can leave in nine months is going to leave this country in worse condition. It will well, but that is an argument war. most Americans are worried about your being right. Let's, let's move on to the realities, though. I'm sorry to get involved in this fight. But some people come on this show over and over again saying things that just aren't true objectively. Thank you, Congresswoman Wasserman Schultz, and thank you, Congressman Kingston. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> some breaking news right now. The Department of Justice turned over some of Karl Rove's emails connected to the firing of several U.S. attorneys.